Welcome to a new video on my channel and this is going to be just a quick update. Uh, over the weekend uh, I released a video about uh, how you can use uh, Zigbee to MQTT on the NS Panel Pro and I was very happy about the fact that I can have a very stock uh, NS Panel Pro and I can access all the Zigbee devices using MQTT. I had a particular you know, application in mind, so this is why I was happy about that. By the way, that's the video that you can see on the left, although nothing is really happening at the moment. So I got an information from the source where I usually get my son of products from, and uh, they said that uh, this MQTT port is going to be disabled in the new NS panel update due to some uh, security vulnerability. I wanted to get this video out because uh, if you were excited about just like I was excited, maybe you should not plan to use this feature in the future or in long term unless you turn on the automatic update on the NS Panel Pro, which I think you can do, or just not update to any new firmware version and just keep the current version what we have at the moment. I mean, of course, then you will lose, you know, updates and support for new devices because as it was uh, highlighted out in the comments, although for me it looks Looks like that is Zigbee to MQTT. It's probably not. It's probably something similar. And uh, one of the reason where I also realized that it's not exactly Zigbee to MQTT is that I wasn't able to control the relay. So I was looking at the Zigbee to MQTT documentation where it says what is the set function or the set topic and how to change the output, and it was just not working. So probably they are using you know a different uh, topic to do that. And, um, you know, without that, it can only be used for sensors, uh, which is probably fair in, uh, still, you know, good enough for certain applications. But uh, so I wasn't able to control any of the relays. I don't think that this has anything to do with my video. I mean, I don't think that my video really makes a difference in this whole story. The fact that it has an open MQTT port and it's, uh, you know, using this uh, Zigbee to MQTT sort of clone has been out on the internet uh, long enough. So it's not really that I, you know, I uncovered something unknown. I just wasn't aware of that. And I was also just told a couple of days ago when I uh, made the video and well, all of a sudden I just got really excited about the whole thing. So. Yeah, that's it. So don't keep your hopes up. This is uh, not going to be a long term solution uh, if it's going to be a solution at all. Actually, for that particular application where I was happy to find this out, I already plan to use a different type of solution, uh, which is going to involve a different hardware. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive and that's going to be covered in some future video as well. So I just wanted to leave this out. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.